a really fun makeup tutorial for all of you. I will be using the new Makeup Forever for the 50 Shades of Grey. As you saw in my recent haul, I purchased all three kits and I thought I would do a really fun makeup look for all of you. In the palette, there were some really great shades for a fun and easy smoky eye and for me, Smoky eyes can be very, very tricky. So I thought this palette was perfect for an easy smoky eye tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I get this makeup look, then keep watching. Hey everyone, I am using my MAC Paint Chili Paint Pot again to use it to prime my eyes so that way my shadow will stay on all day and my eyelids have a nice even base. Now I'm going to go in with that new palette that I just got from Makeup Forever and I will be using the shade I628 with my Sigma E60 brush and I'm just going to pack this all on my lid. Remember it can be a little bit messy because we can always clean it up later on but I'm going to keep packing this color on until I get the desired shade that I want because I want to make sure it's really nice and even and pigmented. So just use windshield wiper motions and just keep packing that color on. Now with the shade S556, I am taking that with my MAC 226 SE brush. I will be placing this in the crease. This is the perfect color for the crease because it doesn't have as much shimmer as the rest of them so it really blends it all out nicely. Here I will be taking my Sigma E40 brush and blending these two shades together. Now I'm taking the shade I514 with my Sigma F70 brush and I will be highlighting my brow bone with this color. This is the perfect color to highlight your brow bone. It really brings the whole look together. And my eyeliner's done. I used the Makeup Forever graphic liner here. Now I'm going to be going in with my pencil brush with that same shade that we used, the I628, and I'm going to be smudging this out because I wanted to make it more of a smoky effect. The, eye, the eyeliner was just a little bit too black for me. And now, of course, we're going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear in NW20 to highlight the high points of my face. Now I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender to blend this all out nicely. Make sure your Beauty Blender is damp, it really helps sheer out the color. Now of course you all know I use my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set everything because it honestly, it's my favorite. It makes your face look flawless and it's just, it's amazing. Okay, so here I'm using the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in medium, medium Deep with my Real Techniques brush to contour my face. I am dealing with the new studio lighting right now, so this is really coming off really orangey, but honestly, in real life, it does not come off the shade at all. So that's just something to, as a little side note. So I'll be using this to contour the sides with my cheeks, the sides of my nose, up on my forehead and a little bit underneath my lip to give it more of a pouty look. Now of course I am blending everything out because I want it all blended beautifully. So here I am using the I808 shade from the Desire Me Makeup Forever kit. 
I am also using the brush that came with this kit to apply this blush. In all honesty, I am not a fan of this brush to use for blush. It just was way too hard to put it on. I would f way prefer my MAC 166 for this. It's just this one is a little bit too narrow. It just does not work well for blush. Now I'll just be blending out everything perfectly so it all blends nicely. I will be using the highlighting color in this kit which is the shade S748 with my Real Techniques brush just to put a nice highlight on the cheekbones. Now I'm going to be going in with the shade S556 with my pencil brush and I'm going to be smudging this out on my bottom lash line just to help even out the eye look. And it's a smoky eye look, so we have to smoke it out. <laughs> now I'll be taking the other shade, I628, and I will also be smudging this out on the bottom lash line. I will be keeping this more on the outer corner. Here I will be taking the shade I514 with my Sigma brush, and I'm just going to be highlighting the inner corners of my eye with this. Now I'll be using the new Makeup Forever mascara that I got in the kits and I'm going to use this to help mesh my real lashes with my fake ones and I'll also be using this on the bottom eyelashes. In all honesty, I cannot not put mascara on those bottom lashes. It just does not look right on my eyes and oh, I got mascara in my hair. <laughs> Comment down below if that happens to you guys a lot. <laughs> Now I'll be taking the Makeup Forever lipstick in N4. I love the shade. It came in the kits. It was it's such a pretty creamy nude, rosy nude shade. It is so nice on the lips. I love the formula of this. Now, now I'll be going in with the Makeup Forever lip gloss in D14. Like I said, I said these were sticky they aren't on the lips they are so creamy for some reason on my hand they felt really sticky this is a finished makeup look make sure to thumbs up this video and to subscribe if you haven't already thank you to all my subscribers I have reached 100 so my contest rules giveaway will be up next week so make sure to stay tuned bye